Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to quickly and easily create an animated liquid glass UI in After Effects. Let's get started. First make sure no layers are selected, because we're about to create a new shape. Long press on the rectangle tool and select the rounded rectangle tool. Draw a shape roughly like this. Now let's adjust it. Click on stroke and set it to none since we don't need it. Then click on fill, select solid color and set it to a slightly darker white, something like this. Next under the shape layer, expand rectangle 1, then rectangle path 1, and set the roundness to 150 to round the edges. To stay organized, I'll rename this layer to glass UI, since it's going to be our main UI element. As you can see, the anchor point is off-center, so let's fix that. Make sure the shape layer is selected, then hold Ctrl and double-click the anchor point tool, it will snap to the center of the shape. Now create a new adjustment layer and rename it to Effects. Apply the CC glass effect to it. Under Surface, set the bump map to the glass UI layer so the effect applies only to the shape. Then change the height to around 80. Expand the light section and set using to AE lights. Now let's create a new light layer. Set the type to Ambient, color to white, and intensity to your preference, I'll set mine to 300%. Right now the light affects the entire comp, but we can fix that quickly. Drag the ambient light layer below the glass UI layer. Then enable 3D on the glass UI layer. Next click toggle switches slash modes, and use the matte pick whip from the effects layer to link it to the glass UI layer, this ensures the effects are applied directly to the shape. And there we go, the glass UI is in place. Let's enhance it further with some animation. First I'll track the video and animate the UI so it naturally follows the scene. Select your original clip, click track camera and wait for the analysis to finish. Once it's done, right click on a track point over the car and choose create null and camera, since I want the glass UI to follow the car. Select the track null layer and press P to reveal its position. Copy that position, hide the track null layer, then paste the position onto the glass UI layer. Press S to scale it up slightly, and adjust the position until it fits nicely. Looks good, it's perfectly tracked. Now I'll animate it with a pop-up effect. Scroll to the point where you want the UI fully visible, and click the scale stopwatch to add a keyframe. Then scroll back and set the scale to zero. Let's preview the animation. It looks good. Select both scale keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Go into the graph editor, right click, choose edit speed graph and adjust the curve for a smooth pop-up motion. To enhance the animation even more, enable motion blur on the glass UI layer. Then on the effects layer, apply a Gaussian blur effect. Set the blurriness to around 15, or whatever value looks best to you. It's looking really cool now, but I want to improve the pop effect just a bit more. Copy the second scale keyframe and paste it slightly later on the timeline. Then go back to the middle keyframe and increase the scale slightly to create a bounce. Adjust the graph again for a smoother motion. Let's check it. That looks great. If you want to add text inside the glass UI and make it follow along, here's how. Create a new text layer. Select it, then hold Ctrl and double-click the anchor point tool to center it. Enable 3D on the text layer. Now copy the position from the track null layer and paste it onto the text layer. Reposition and scale the text so it fits nicely inside the glass UI. To make the text follow the UI, use the pick whip from the text layer and parent it to the glass UI layer. Check the animation, it should now follow perfectly. If you want to change the text color, you can do it from the text settings, or apply a fill effect and experiment with different colors. I'll go with white for now. Once you're happy with the result, don't forget to enable motion blur on the text layer as well. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.